Hi grade fives, welcome to another recorded math lesson. Today's title is adding fractions. Our learning intentions and success criteria are, I am learning to develop number sense so that I can demonstrate an understanding of fractions. I'll know I have it when I can add fractions. All right, so just make sure I've got my purple pen. Okay, so when adding fractions together, the first thing you need to do is make sure that they have the same denominator. Okay, so the same number on the bottom. Once they do, you only need to add the numerators or the top numbers together and keep the denominator the same. Okay, so for the first one, we've got two over five plus two over five. So I know my denominator is going to be five and my numerator is going to be two plus two, which is four. Okay, next one is three over 10 plus four over 10. So I know my denominator will be 10, and my numerator will be three plus four, which is seven. Okay, next we've got three over 12 plus five over 12. So my denominator will be 12, and my numerator will be three plus five, which is eight. Okay, lastly, we have one over two plus one over two. So I know that my denominator is going to be two, and my numerator is going to be one plus one, which is two. Now, as you guys may have noticed, when you have a numerator and a denominator that are both the same, then that fraction is actually equivalent to a whole number. It's a whole one. So you could write it both ways. You could write it as two over two, or you could write it as one. Either one would be acceptable. Okay, so if the denominator is not already the same, as will very often be the case, you simply need to write the fractions as equivalent fractions and then follow the same steps that you've already done. So for 3 over 10 plus 2 over 5, I first need to make these two fractions equivalent. And I know I can do that by multiplying this second fraction by 2. So 2 over 5 times 2 gives me 4 over 10. And now I'm, I'm answering 3 over 10 plus 4 over 10. I know my denominator will be 10, and 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, then for 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3, um, in this case, I can't just multiply one fraction. I'm going to have to multiply both of them. So I'm going to start by multiplying this number by 2 and this number by 3. So 1 over 3 times 2 equals 2 over 6 plus 1 over 2 times 3 which equals 3 over 6 and 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6 equals 5 over 6 and that is your answer and it's totally fine to keep that answer even though the denominator doesn't match any of the no denominators that you had originally in the original question here. Okay, this is totally fine to have. Okay, so things are going to be a little bit different today. You've actually got two worksheets. Um, however, one worksheet will be added today and the next one's going to be added tomorrow without an additional video. So the worksheet that you'll, that you'll have to do tomorrow is still related to the video that I'm recording right now. Okay, so both of the worksheets are going to be due the day after tomorrow instead of uh, due tomorrow like we usually do. Okay, uh, feel free to call me on Zoom if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.